This is Speak Your Mind on Gold FM and also FBC TV. Nice joining you on the show. I'm your host, Gwen Magoon. And this morning, the focus of our discussion is the Prime Minister's International Business Awards 2018. And we're speaking this morning to the Investment, uh, to investment Fiji Senior Trade and Export Advisor, Chanil Naya. Welcome to the show, Chanil. Nice having you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us for the show this, this afternoon. Um, so it's really great to be here it's in the studio for you guys as well. So before I start off with uh, explaining as to more into the awards, uh, let me first give you a bit of information as to what Investment Fiji does and its role on that. So Investment Fiji is a marketing arm of the um, government agencies and that provides uh, the opportunities for exporters and businesses to grow. So being said that we work independently as a marketing arm of the Fijian government to provide service facilitate and stimulate to increase investment and exports. So we provide a range of services in the areas of uh, promoting investment, development of industries and enterprises as well as to increase exports of goods and services. So Investment Fiji undertakes uh, regulatory functions and also it provides a promotional activities and advisories and information services to meet its objectives. So we also act as a liaison with the government agencies and the private sectors, and uh, we work with the regional and international agencies as well. So that's the, the roles of the Investment Fiji. So our department, there is three departments in the organization, so which falls from promotion team, facilitation team, and export team. So the, um, of course, the promotion team gets a foreign investors in the country. The facilitation team facilitates their request. And then we have the export team basically assisting the local businesses to grow. Um, uh, Chanil, sorry. Um, could you just tell us about the Prime Minister's International Awards, um, you know, 2018 in, in recognition of the success and contribution of uh, Fijian businesses? You know, give us some background on the, on the award and also in terms of how it, is, it has grown over the years. Okay, so the 2018 the Prime Minister's International Business Award is the, the premium event where not only the success of the Fijian businesses but their contribution towards the thriving economic will be recognized. So the awards provides an opportunity for the Fijian businesses to benchmark their performance and build the capability to inspire, to innovate and showcase excellence in terms of their service and in terms of support job creation and boost economic morale. So Investment Fiji has been hosting the main award for the past 26 years and it was formerly known as the Export of the Year Award and which was really changed to in 2016. How many awards are there in, 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 in total? I mean there's three general and one supreme. Maybe we could touch on the uh, Supreme Award. So the Supreme Award basically is uh, sponsored uh, this year proudly by Fiji Water and this award is basically not directly entered into but you are selected by applying for all the other awards categories and you need to showcase your stories as to how well you have done in terms of your companies uh, in the areas of international growth in along the areas of understanding the overseas markets and how you as a winner you demonstrate that your commercial success and you have outlined the benefits in multiple sectors and in men which are in terms of the job creation innovation excellence in service and in social responsibility social responsible award so basically that should be the focus of this and you do not directly apply for this you actually will be awarded among the other comparisons so that's the eligibility uh, eligibility criteria for yes. the supreme honor yes um, talk to us about the three three general awards so the three general awards basically is divided into small medium and large so if you are a business that is operating less than one million then you can apply for a small award category but if you are a business that is operating between 1 to 5 million, you can apply for a medium category. But if you are earning more than 5 million, you can apply for the large category. So those are the three general requirements in terms of that. And of course, you need to be registered with the Register of Companies as a business. Let's just look at the other categories because, you know, each award has their own focus. Eh? Right. In, in total, um, Chanel, how, how many awards are there in total? There are... 12 awards in total. So there's, like I mentioned, there is eight special awards, three general and one supreme. So the eight special awards, it has their own uniqueness in each recognizing what they have done well and how they have uh, demonstrated their business is different and unique into the operation of their business. 
So that is how the special awards has been identified. Could you touch on a couple more of the awards uh, and, uh, you know, touch on the eligibility criteria as well, the ones aside from the three general and the one supreme? So we have like to talk about the excellence in um, e-commerce. So the e-commerce award is a is it's a, a award that recognizes a company that has demonstrated successful e-commerce approaches by using digital media to market products and services internationally. So these are the creative usage of websites and uh, web storage and e-channels and social media platforms, allowing the Fijian companies to promote their products and services globally in a real time, in a real time and a cost effective manner. So the companies that have embraced innovatively in using these e-commerce e channels, they will often be given significant point to differentiate over other international companies and this is where they are serving the international market. So that's what differentiates them. And would you be able to um, share with us some, you know, success stories of previous winner, winners and how the, the award has, has sort of helped their business? So uh, one particular company that I would like to target is a small company. So basically, if you are winning a small award category, that allows you to basically enter new international markets. So this gives you a urge where you will be able to understand that you can compare yourself with other companies. And in terms of saying that you enter new markets, this allows you from being a small company will be able to become a medium exporter. So you, your annual sale increases, your product diversification comes in the picture, the job creation is done with that. So that is how each company is basically are able to differentiate themselves and using the award themselves, they will be able to enter new markets as well. Are you able to tell us, uh, will there be a panel of judges? Yes, so the judging is basically done transparency in a very transparent manner. Basically, there are six uh, independent judges. These judges are basically uh, being anonymous. No one knows them, even I don't know them. So there is a e-platform uh, structure which is created. So all the judges will have a soft copy of the information provided by the applicants. And they will be looking at how each applicant has done and the assess is done according to that and the points are given. And based on the point, each company is, uh, is getting and tallied and who are the winners and how it is been done. That is a straight line for that first. Chanil, I wanted to ask as well, you know, for some of the business that want to enter the award, the eligibility criteria, do they have to be 100% Fijian owned or how, do, how does it work? Can you give us some details? So, as like I mentioned, that if you are a company which is registered in Fiji, you are applied to apply this for this award, you are applicable to you. You are basically uh, doing export. You are a business which is interested in applying for leadership award. You are your company that is doing really well in social responsible. All of these companies are encouraged to apply for. So there is no restriction that if you are not a, a register, uh, you, you sorry, you have to be registered in Fiji in order to apply for the award. That's that's how it is actually. And just the date of the award, Chanil, uh, uh, and also what's the last day of uh, of entry? So the application has already been opened. The last day is 1st of October, close of business. The application will close and the awards is, is will be planned to schedule on the 3rd of uh, November. Could you just tell us, you know, about the uh, Supreme Award? Would you be able to tell us how many nominations you've received so far or maybe, um, you know, give us last year's figures? In terms of uh, applications received, uh, it's still in the process. We are receiving a lot of inquiries. People are very interested. They want to know about how each category can be applied for. They want to see what is so different about their businesses. So we are able to, there's a team dedicated who goes out for site visits. We meet them. We understand their business. We guide them along the process of how to go about getting yourself sorted out for this application. And with that, we are able to focus more on to the promotion of their company's profile. And uh, and uh, in terms of the application received, we had a total of around 143 applications received last year. So that was the application that allowed companies to understand that how different they are from the rest of and that gives them the competitive urge that we require for them to see. Is there any other additional information? Well, if in terms of understanding more about the awards, please, um, send us an email at iva.investmentfiji.org.fj and definitely contact Investment Fiji for further information. On Speak Your Mind, we're touching on the uh, Prime Minister's International Business Awards and speaking to us this morning is Chanil Naya. Also, uh, on the show, we will be catching up a little later with the Vodafone Chief Operations Officer, Ronald Prasad, 
and he'll touch on the award that they're sponsoring. This is Speak Your Mind on Gold FM and FBC TV, and we're continuing our discussion on the Prime Minister's International Business Awards 2018. To talk to us now is the Vodafone Chief Operations Officer, Ronald Prasad. Thank you so much for your time. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Gwen, and happy to be here. Well, tell us about the, the category that you're sponsoring in the uh, Prime Minister's International Business um, Award and what, what it means to your company. What, what does it mean to Vodafone? So Vodafone is sponsoring the e-commerce category, and we've been sponsoring this uh, particular award for some years now. And obviously, we see this as a very important avenue to recognize businesses that promote sustainability and also innovation. Um, it's also quite important to use this platform to recognize businesses, especially products and services. Um, and the particular focus is obviously on businesses that are able to showcase their products and services to overseas markets. Um, yeah, in, uh, in, in the process, I suppose uh, it also brings in a lot of foreign exchange, foreign earnings for Fiji. Um, another area we see is the uh, promotion of entrepreneurship, um, especially ensuring that uh, we're able to expose and get more and more people to start their own businesses. And uh, the awards, the recognition, obviously, is, is a great avenue, a great platform to get others to follow suit. Yeah, just uh, touching on that, could you just add on a bit? If, you know, somebody's trying to um, promote their business using e-commerce as, uh, as a tool, how, how do they go about doing that? So uh, I, I suppose the uh, definition of e-commerce now can be expanded a lot. Uh, in the early days, it all started off with um, getting into a cashless society, ensuring that you're able to use non-cash instruments to be able to conduct businesses. You can use online facilities to conduct businesses. However, in, in recent times, uh, a lot has changed. So if you look at the, uh, the evolution of social media, how it has changed now. So it started off, obviously, from uh, being used as a tool to connect people, to be able to share pictures, stay in touch with family and friends. And, and slowly it has evolved to be able to uh, market your businesses, your services, it's a great platform, a great avenue that allows smaller businesses, so to speak, to be able to expose their products and services. And there is some investment required in terms of getting connected to some sort of a payment gateway to allow um, your, your customers, your consumers to be able to pay using uh, the uh, electronic platforms. Um, when you see the evolution in that space, uh, you have companies like uh, Airbnb, you have companies like eBay, where you can use their systems to be able to list your products and sell. So that obviously takes away the need for you to have your own platform or uh, for your website or for your application, uh, for your Facebook page to be uh, able to process the transactions directly. So various flavors, uh, uh, various stages that people can use. What I see uh, most relevant to the Fijian market obviously is the use of uh, companies' own websites companies uh, investing in applications, companies using their social media pages such as uh, uh, their Facebook page, Instagram, to engage with their customers, to provide more information, to be able to sell their products and services. You know, as you mentioned um, earlier, it's, it's very profitable. It's the modern way of doing business. But how much? How much would, would it cost? So uh, the, the cost uh, factor obviously will depend on what type of features and functions you want. Generally, what happens is uh, if you want to get into e-commerce, uh, you can start off by having your products and services available, for instance, on, on Facebook or having your products and services available on websites. And then your obviously your website would need to be integrated into some sort of a payment gateway for which you would need to talk to a, to a supplier or someone who provides the, uh, the necessary interface uh, to be able to conduct transactions using your credit cards or your debit cards or some sort of e-currency. Um, that would range again, as I said, but if you would, uh, for instance, want to use some existing platform, so if you were to um, market some of the items using eBay's platform or even Airbnb, for instance, to market your rooms, uh, you should be able to do that using their platform. In those cases, there's a certain, a certain amount of... Uh, uh, costs that uh, you would be required to pay to these providers. 
and that definitely is far less than getting directly engaged to have a platform to be able to process these transactions. What are the risks and challenges? So from a risk and challenge point of view, uh, for a smaller company, it would be quite pricey for them to um, engage and have their own platform to be able to uh, transact. So in that case, it's, it's easier. Uh, normally, they would have their existing relationships with the banks. They should be able to talk to the banks to see how they could leverage off getting a payment gateway that's integrated into their websites or even, you know, as, as easy as uh, starting to promote the uh, products and services using uh, social media or applications, so to speak. In, in terms of uh, risks, the risks uh, are inherent risks that's associated with doing online business. So obviously uh, there are credit card fraud, there's risks with regard to um, security breaches. However, there is a lot of uh, steps undertaken to ensure that these are mitigated. So with the use of, say, for example, HTTPS, which provides additional security in terms of transacting. So all the online banking that you do with your banks, uh, they are on a very secure platform. So the providers will take all necessary precautions to ensure that there is a huge amount of uh, um, steps taken or um, I should say uh, security is, is paramount there. So steps taken to ensure that, you know, the, these kind of things are not compromised. And uh, there will be some situations where some breaches can occur, but it's, it's almost going down to, for instance, you can have the best of breed security systems, but if you are not good in terms of password management and you don't change your password, for instance, every now and then, then of course, you know, if somebody knows or you are using a very easy password, no matter how good your security system is, someone can gain entry into it. But, you know, overall, from a business point of view, it's very, very secure. Now, when you look at the, um, uh, the entire digital platform, uh, let's, let's look at Fiji, for instance. We are putting a lot of time and effort, a lot of investment to ensure that we are able to grow the smartphone penetration. And it's purely being done to ensure that people get used to uh, using e-commerce as, uh, as a means. Uh, if you look at our M-Pesa platform, that has been very, very successful. It's an uh, e-commerce e platform. And this has been very successfully used for inward remittance. So the M-Pesa platform brings in over a million dollars remittance where people are able to send money to their loved ones directly on their phones. And you can go out to any agent and be able to withdraw that money. You can use that platform to transact and transfer money. You can use that platform to pay your EFL bills, your water bills, uh, your LTA fines, even your um, deductions to banks and credit unions, so to speak. So what it does, it, it, it makes it very simple, it makes it very convenient, it makes it cost effective. However, the success of these types of platforms is dependent on mass adoption. Now, when you look at the, uh, uh, the M-Pesa platform, the, uh, the platform has also been very successfully used by government to disburse funds for e-care, for home care, and even during the aftermath of the cyclones. So it's a system that is able to uh, track every single cent. You're able to generate reports. There's more accountability, that great, greater visibility, and it's very easy to deal with. We have to continue this discussion. This is very, very interesting, and I'm sure Vodafone is, uh, you know, aside from um, Empire growing the uh, your e-commerce uh, platform as well. On Speak Your Mind, we're talking then to um, the Vodafone Chief Operations Officer, Ronald Prasad, Mr. Prasad, thank you again for your time. This is Speak Your Mind on Gold FM and also FBC TV. And of course, we're touching on the Prime Minister's Award, the Prime Minister's International Business Awards 2018, which is on the 3rd of November. And also one of the category sponsors is DHL. And joining us this morning is DHL Express Fiji Limited, Telesales exec uh, Executive, Farzan Khan, thank you so much for your time and welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you so much for inviting us and uh, letting us be part of this uh, program today. Uh, let me tell you something about DHL. DHL Express is the logistics company for the world and we do operate in 220 countries and territories. We are renowned for the uh, being the world's most international company in the world. 
and you are also sponsoring the uh, Small Business Awards. Tell us about this. You know, why is this co uh, corporate sponsorship important for the DHL brand? Yes, um, this is the first time uh, we are sponsoring the Small Business Award, and we are the proud sponsors for the prestigious uh, Prime Minister's uh, International Business Award. Well, DHL Express uh, encourage all the Fiji's high-performing um, small businesses that operate internationally to to enter this fantastic award. As DHL has built a, um, a global logistics network to ensure Fijian products can be sold in any market on this earth. So, um, what we do basically is um, when small businesses, when we get hold of small businesses, we want their product to come on the shelf first before before any other provider does. And um, we have our customer service department. We ha we have our um, um, we have our sales team. We have our commercial team, and we have our operations team, which helps um, together for the particular company to get their products uh, into the country, um, as well as vice versa to um, import and export as well. So you're pushing the. Uh Fiji, uh, Fiji made brand overseas eh? or into uh, foreign markets as well. Yes, and mostly, uh, mostly what the customer does is um, um, they get their like um, the machineries um, and the tools they require, even the products from there, from overseas. So we do the importation for them into Fiji, and uh, we we ensure that they receive their product on time, and uh, and 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 the end end products go on goes on shelf on time as well. Yes, we do exports to their uh, small businesses in Fiji, which we facilitate their export as well to the uh, outer nations in the world. Could you tell us, uh, you know, how the category relates to your business and company, and what benefits um, it will have to to sponsor the uh, SMEs who also play a, a huge huge role in our thriving economy? Well, um, as you may be knowing, that DHL has facilitated global trade for large Fijian businesses for many years now. Yeah, and we now want to focus on Fiji's fastest growing small businesses sector and to show how they can operate internationally. Fiji small business can be at the forefront of the current global e commerce boom with some logistics help from DHL Express. So, uh, basically, when uh, we talk about small businesses, when we get hold of small businesses, they are uh, businesses where we put them on the social media, like they have their own website, and with our DHL logo, uh, DHL logo in. So when the customers go on a particular company's website and do their booking, and they get their product on time, all they have to do is add to the cart, do your payment, and that's so easy that um, the notification goes to DHL Express, and we provide our courier. Certified international specialist to transport the good from point A to point B. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Well, um, to the listeners out there, I would like to recommend and suggest that um, DHL Express, we are your shipping solution and we are here to assist you. Um, excellence simply delivered is our motto and we abide by that. And we have our cust dedicated customer service team. We have our dedicated tracing team, plus we have our 24-7 track and trace system. So once a customer is shipping in or the customer is doing, a, doing an export, we give them the airway bill number with a link where they can track and trace their own shipment. The real-time visibility is out there. And as one, we make a difference to the small businesses, to the small businesses customer. So we encourage um, to, if, if customers, if they are individuals who are planning to start up their own business, we at DHL Express, we are here to assist you to get in your product and put your business to the next level. On Speak Your Mind, we're discussing the Prime Minister's International Business Awards. And, of course, speaking to us then is the DHL Express Fiji Limited Telesales Executive, Farzam Khan. Thank you so much for your time. On Speak Your Mind on Gold FM and also FBC TV, we're touching on the Prime Minister's International Business Awards two, 2018, which will also be heard, um, held rather on the 3rd of November. And continuing our discussion, we've got the Investment Fiji Senior Trade and Export Advisor, Shanil Naya. Shanil, maybe this time you can break down and, and talk to us about the eight special awards. Thank you. For the eight special awards categories, um, I'm just going to tell you what the awards categories are. So... This year, we have introduced the Young Entrepreneurship Award, which is proudly sponsored by Ministry of Youth and Sports. So the youth 
and Sports Award. Uh, the Young Entrepreneurship Award is basically introducing this year a young entrepreneur that is able to recognizing their outstanding achievement by a young Fijian. So the award will be presented to a company that best qualifies the effectiveness of their leadership, innovatively applied, known, and demonstrates how their financial viability and the sound potential for the growth. So in order to enter for this award category, you need to be between the age of 18 to 35 and at the time of entering the application. And then you need to tell us your story as to how that you have grown your business and then grown in the process that it has reached today. So that is the focus of the Young Entrepreneurship Award. And moving on to we have the other, which is a re-exporter of the Dear Award, which is basically sponsored by Swai Shipping. The re-export the re of the award is provides a due recognition to those businesses who have excelled in re-exporting. So at the same time, you are in contributing and in ensuring that Fiji remains the true hub for the Pacific. So the winner will demonstrate the, the cross and the expansion across and new markets. And uh, through the international and the introduction of the creativity and the innovation approach that you have, the value editing of this is managing the growth of the company. So that's what the focus will be. In terms of the Excellence in Service Award, which is sponsored by Blue Scope. So the Excellence in Service Award will recognize a business that strikes to expel the customer's satisfaction, leading standards of service, innovating around the customer service. So the award is open to outstanding customers and businesses that is able to operate in a number of organizations where they are the truly the king of their business. So the winner will be able to demonstrate measurable commercial outcomes and achievements and critically assess the qualified of how you're able to take a feedback from your customer and you're able to sustain that. So the other award category that I would like to talk about is the primary industry. So the primary industry excellence business award is sponsored by Reserve Bank of Fiji. So Fiji's agriculture, such as the primary industry, which is the forestry, fisheries, and agriculture, that has contributed towards the growth of the Fijian economy. So in terms of these, the primary industry will aim to showcase the innovation in terms of number of primary industry sectors that has been created and how their stories, they are the best storytellers of their own business growth. So how and what sort of models have you used in to ensure to achieve this? And uh, talking about the Business Leadership Award, so for this, this award is not given out to a company, but rather given to an individual. So in order for you to apply for this, the individual will have to be providing how they have shaped the business operation of the company. The award is honors and recognizes the dynamics of how you are the visionary person behind the success and that you have created the products and services for your, product, for your business. And in terms of excellence in innovation, this award is basically sponsored by uh, Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism. So the Innovation Award will basically put a shine of a light onto the most innovative business in the country that is leading examples of their products and services that provide new end to the existing markets. So whether the, you are a innovation in terms of a new market entrance of a product or a service or a award that recognizes the businesses in terms of the ideas into the industry and the organization. So that is the focus of that. We're trying to get into hold of that. And uh, the other one that I would like to speak about is, is, is the social responsible of the award. This award is uh, sponsored by Tropic Wood Industries. So the, the award basically recognizes the positive and the sustainable uh, impact that the business has done towards the, towards the economy. And uh, it means basically the positive relationship to the society in terms of operating. And the award recognizes a company that is able to uh, demonstrate a successful commitment towards managing the social, environmental, and financial obligation for further social purpose that benefits the community. So these are the eight special awards categories. And is there any other? It's, it's interesting, the Young un Entrepreneur one? Yes. And, and looking at the, the age category, because I know a lot, a lot of young people would definitely would, you know, they'd love to enter that. Yes. Um, it's, it's a new category as well for, yes. for this year. So uh, this, this award is a new category for this year, mainly because we understand that the youths are the ones who are taking the approach in creating new ideas in the country. So we, in terms of recognizing it, we have set out a cash prize money for them. And they are most welcome to come and discuss with Invest in Fiji 
the team of the trade and export department as to how they can go about applying for this award we are more than welcome to look into details and guide these applicants in filling out the forms and we'll be able to uh, connect them to the right departments on facilitating as well and which young person doesn't want to own their own business as well you know yes. the, the thought of that yeah so so there's a cash prize how much exactly do they do they win uh ten thousand dollars what's the prize for the different awards again the 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 eight awards so the eight special awards categories they each will receive a four thousand dollars of cash prize and the supreme award will receive six thousand dollars of cash prize yes is there anything else that you'd uh, like to add to to sum it up um, we encourage all the small businesses and the young entrepreneurs of companies basically to demonstrate what they have done so far into their businesses and come and see our team will be more than happy to assist you in filling out your application and guide you our team are basically on sites right now uh, and talking more into it in terms of how the awards are carried out. So, thank you. On Speak Your Mind, we're touching on the uh, Prime Minister's International Business Awards, and speaking to us this morning is Shanil Nair. On Speak Your Mind, well, we'll continue uh, speaking to Investment Fiji Senior Trade and Export Advisor, Shanil Nair. Shanil, there was something else that we left out earlier that you wanted to touch on. The outline of information that each applicant needs to understand. They, they have to basically understand there's four elements to it. Basically, your financial bits of it, your customer service bits to it, to your showings of innovations, and into your pre presence of e-commerce. So these are the, some of the elements that you need to look into. I'll be explaining further as to what those details are. So... For you to be able to apply for the award, you need to understand that you have to have a strong and a clear evidence of a critical and strategic thinking. You need to be able to showcase that you're able to engage with your employees, get that feedback, and you're able to supply and put that into your business operation, and you assist the local and the community as a whole. So in terms of financial details, what we're interested in is that if you have stated that this is your financial year for the last fiscal years, you need to provide evidence to that as legal attachment. And if you have say, stated in terms of your customer service is the unique field, so you need to talk more about us and tell us how you're able to achieve it, how you as a business take the feedback that is given to you by your customers and able to employ that into your, into your business and able to provide that at the end of the day. So what we are looking into is that you, are, uh, that you have provided us the evidence of how you're able to do this. And in terms of showcasing that how your business has adopted the, the introduction and the upgrading of innovative approaches is basically what we want to see is that why your product and service is unique. How are you able to tell us that this is what you are talking about? So you will have various metrics in place in your business that outlines this for you. So a clear description of how there is a rationale behind the clear benefits that customers and the partners are presented, they receive through this. And then you have to provide your international success stories of how this has allowed it to happen. So those is one of those elements in terms of the innovative approaches. Now talking about um, in terms of creativity, what we want to see is the wow factor. So with a clear explanation as to why it is innovative, in terms of what are the, the benefits, the, uh, the customer feedbacks, the partners that you have worked with has provided this success for this wow factor for your company. So in terms of your businesses that, that stands out in terms of e-commerce, so what we want to see is how you have a benefit and a, a story behind that. What story is I'm talking about is, is the international success that gives your reflection onto your sales. So you have stated that you have used this e-platform to enter a particular market. So how was the transformation? How did that reflect on the overall company's performance, whether that was in terms of job creation, or whether that was in terms of finding new market or whether that was in terms of uh, in any sorts of those elements if those are the focus that that's what we want to hear so you are the best teller of your business success so that is some of the things that the judges would be very much interested to find out so stating that if you have stated a certain amount of profit that has been gained you have stated that this is the customer base that you have ended into how are you going to explain that part that is something that we want to focus from your end so overall, these are the four things that we want to focus into in terms of your customer services, in terms of your e-commerce, and in terms of your financial growth, and in terms of the innovative approaches. These are some of the things that you need to be insured. While, uh, and if you visit www.iba.org.fj, 
there's a page dedicated for the online platform you can click onto the apply now there is the all the information listed by categories you will broadcast in terms of what are the requirements for each companies to see through and that is something that you would want to understand in terms of applying for this award as well and also just uh, just before you go maybe you could um, you know just reiterate the key points again about the award so just to let you know as you are award apply why would you want to apply for this award so as a winner for the 2018 Prime Minister's International Business Award, you get a competitive urge over other Fijian businesses. You get to be the role model in the Fiji's private sector and to motivate them to parallel to excel. The awards expires due to encourage local businesses to look beyond their reach, challenge their limitation, break the barriers and push them above its weights through the creative approaches. Any business, whether it's big or small, has major contribution towards the development of the nation, as any business through creativity can reach the embankment of success and excellence and uh, has to be the leader of their respective industry. So all these businesses need a little bit of recognition. So the Prime Minister's International Business Awards hails such success for their tenacity and dedication towards the Fijian economy. So. Like I mentioned, we have established a dedicated web page, which is www.iba.org.fj. And this is will be highlighting and featuring all the online application forms with the previous year's winners to see and understand. Their show. And we also have a dedicated social media web pages and Twitter accounts and also Instagram for more information and also on details on the sponsors. And for regular updates, please visit these pages for more information. There's a number as well that you gave earlier in case people need additional information that they can call. 315988. This is Investment Fiji's direct line. They can call us and we'll be more than happy to assist them. Well, speaking to us then on the Prime Minister's International Business Awards, Investment Fiji Senior Trade and Export Advisor, Chanil Naya. This is Speak Your Mind. Thank you for your time, uh, Chanil. Thank, Thank you so much for having us in this session. This is Speak Your Mind. Well, until next Tuesday, you have a great week ahead.